It's the Let's Go, Let's Go Show. KJ's in the house. What's up, KJ? What's up? Kanye West. You know, he was just feeling some type of way, apparently, because that's what Kanye does. And he came out and says, Everyone knows I watched Kendrick on No More Parties in L.A. Everyone knows I watched Drake at the Free Hoover concert. Everyone knows I brought Adidas into this culture, and I took them out. I mean, I would say Run DMC brought Adidas into the culture a long time ago in the 80s when they made a song called My Adidas, but okay. <laughs> Uh, but he did take him out. He ain't lying about that. Right. <laughs> uh, then he also says, I made Yeezus, Dark Fantasy, Pablo, Graduation, Throne, 808s. I made Runaway, Devil in a New Dress, Father Stretch. I am the only person to come back to number one after cancellation. There is only one go. I stand by me. My friends call me yay. Obviously, he's responding to, you know, the Kendrick verse and, you know, uh, the big three and first person shooter when everyone's talking about Kendrick and J. Cole and Drake. He's like, Kanye's like, dude, yeah, I've been here the whole time, bro. What right. y'all talking about? You're not including me in this conversation? He calls himself the GOAT, KJ. What do you think about that? Hey, I don't think he's wrong. Yeah, I mean, I don't think he's wrong for how he feels at all. Yeah, I mean, uh, there's, it's hard to argue. Again, if you want to talk about, let's talk about the big three Kendrick, J., uh, Drake, and uh, J. Cole. Uh, none of those guys have more classic albums than Kanye. Like, that's just a fact. Yeah. <laughs> And you could split his career in half, right? You could go, you could stop it at My Beautiful Dark Twisted Fantasy. You could stop it right there, those first albums. And then you could go after My Beautiful Dark Twisted Fantasy with all those albums. You split his career in half, and those albums are mean different things to different generations. Like, yeah. I know people, like, younger generation that think, like, The Life of Pablo is Kanye's greatest album. You see what I'm saying? Hmm. Like, he crosses generations. He's been doing it so long, and he's making all these crazy albums and all these crazy sounds, and he's never afraid to be creative about it, so... I, I that's what I always say. Like that's his case for uh, being the goat, right? Like yeah. his, his classic albums. I mean, his albums are always something, an experience. Even with the uh, Vultures, I mean, he came back and went number one uh, with no record label, no promo, just all on his own. Yep. You know what I'm saying? But uh, you know, is he gonna outrap Kendrick? No. <laughs> That's that is also true. <laughs> He's not gonna outrap Kendrick. That's not gonna happen. All right, KJ. Uh, let's see. Uh, speaking of goats. Offset, he was on Club Shay Shay, and he said, Migos is the second best rap group of all time after Outkast. But Quavo said, Migos is the best group in the world. Who do you agree with? Do you agree with Offset or do you agree with uh, Quavo? I'm leaning more towards Offset. Yeah. Yeah. You, you, you feel that. Yeah. First of all, Outkast is the greatest group of all time. Yeah. We greatest rap just, group of all time. We can't just, like, knock nah. Outkast out nah, there. Like, okay, I, and, and you know what? They're going to stay the greatest group of all time because guess what? There are no groups. <laughs> Basically, there, there are no groups anymore. But Migos, there's no denying the impact they had. KJ, like they, I would put them up there. Why yeah. not? Definitely up there. Obviously, you have Wu Tang, and you know, like I said mentioned before, Run DMC and Tribe Called Quest and uh, Mob Deep and all these different groups. Yeah, definitely. But I would say Migos is right up there. I mean, the impact they made, like they really changed the game, dude. It with did. Freaking Versace. <laughs> they really <laughs> Versace, changed it. They really changed the game. So uh, can't argue with them. Wouldn't call them the best group like Quavo, but they're up there. No <laughs> doubt. Top five. Top five. Yeah. Hey, for more episodes of the Esco Let's Go podcast, just follow, like, subscribe. Uh, wherever you listen to podcasts, E-S-K-O-L-E-T-S-G-O. -E also, subscribe to my YouTube channel. It's the same, E-S-K-O-L-E-T-S-G-O, -E all one word, Esco Let's Go. Thanks for listening.